this sneaker we have been waiting so long so we had a few random ones turn up in some sizes and we've sat on them and sat on them and just oh the rest of them will come because there was one color well two colors we knew the white was pretty important we hadn't received the white yet and the azure wait till you see it if you love color this sneaker is 100 percent for you okay so let me talk you through karen so karen is the beautiful now karen is about c-a-r-e-n um it's a beautiful sneaker from joseph siebel i'm making sure i spelt that right now yes c-a-r-e-n um from joseph siebel so comfort and quality 100 percent of the way with this one so what we've got let's take out the insert beautiful beautiful sneaker what i like about her She's a bit more slimline. She doesn't have the chunkiness about her. She's a bit more streamlined when you put her on your foot, um, which I really like. The white, which I think is important if you're new to wearing white sneakers, is broken up with some paneling and some features. So it does soften it on your foot. If you haven't worn a white shoe before and you go, nah, it's just too bright when I put it on my foot, adding in these nice panels, these punching, anything like that helps soften it on your foot, which makes it a lot better. Now, the next bit, full leather, leather, leather in here which is really important and makes it easier to wear easy to soften and easier to shape your foot got a full removable footbed that's nice and nice and squishy so we've got lots of support in there you do have your arch support in that frame base it's not really showing on the video there but you can see that it has got that support in it now if you choose you could take it out it's very hard so you've got no padding when you take that out or the tiniest bit but i don't think it'll be very comfortable but if you've got your own orthotics or your own inners you can put it in so now what I always like to remind people here, if you have the perfect pair of shoes at home that does have a removable inner in it and you love it and you can wear them all day, take this one out, put that one in, change them around. It's not that that one has to stay in that one. Use your footbeds as you would anything else and change them to get them right for your fit. Um, I do it all the time. I change them. I'll throw a Frankie Four insert into one of my rollies um, or I've got some other shoes at home that I'll pop in and out. Same with my Hush Puppies. If I know I need extra support and that shoe's really supportive, I'll swap it over. So you can do the same here, but what you'll probably find is this is bloody amazing. I was so, so impressed the first time I tried them on for a photo shoot, but I knew I wanted the white, so I had to wait. And I've had to wait and wait and wait, and they're finally here. So, new white shoes. Why I love leather white shoes is they're easier to clean, so you can give them a really good clean over as well. Now let me show you the other colors. So that's the white. We have the platinum, so everything's better in metallic. We all know that. I'm trying to get that in the light right. So it's got a beautiful platinum finish. It's sort of got the darker and the gray, a little bit of a texture on it. Showing that there, right? Um, same, got the paneling there around the back. So really good rubber sole, great grip, really important, great grip there. Um, the only thing I'd say in regards to sizing is it's very, so 45, I'm 45, they fit me great. Um, I find the width really good here, really great here. It's a little bit shallower in the toe box here. So if you're somebody that carries a lot of height in the front of your foot, um, I would avoid this shoe just because you're gonna get that pressure down there. It will soften, but it is a tiny bit shallower there. If you um, are still really keen on them, what you could do is change your lacing up. So instead of lacing across the front here like this, put your lace in and then go up, up, and then crisscross it crisscross across um, and it'll allow that just to soften and open up a little bit more there as well so we're doing some videos at the moment on lacing techniques which is working really well for people finding that right fit now the next color is classic black for anyone needing a really solid work shoe um, excellent we couldn't get it with a black base so we have gone the black white I know people do like the black black but I think it does soften it as well you got the white lace and the last color seriously I don't think I've seen a more fun sneaker Oh, it's throwing a little bit different. Look at that. So it's called Azua. Um, it is the most beautiful ocean turquoise color. Looks so, so pretty. So I was 100% for sold on the white when I ordered it. I'm pretty sure Azua has become my new favorite color. And I could just see her denim shorts and a white shirt, crisp white dress. I do love white. I wear so much white. Um, it is beautiful. So that's that one there. So I'm going to throw a pair on and let you have a look. I might actually throw the Azua colour on and we'll see what she's like on. Now I have tried it before but it has been a long time ago so you're kind of getting a first reaction because I think it would have been back in May when we got the first few odd pairs delivered that I tried them on. So let's have a go. Okay, so I've thrown Azua on. Um, the Sorry, Karen Azua. So the colour's Azua. The shoe name is Karen. Um, I've got her on. Now, first impression. So as I said, very long time ago since I tried her on. So I do feel like I've got her on for the first time again. So underfoot, really, really soft. I can feel that slight arch in the center there, 
can definitely feel it supporting my foot and pushing my foot up, which is good because I'm a bit lazy in wearing, uh, liking flat shoes and getting, making my foot a little too flat than what it should be. So I do like it for that. I can definitely feel the padding underneath. It's really easy on the foot, instantly feels good. In the 45, my length feels sensational. Like I've got room, I don't feel I'm tight here. I've definitely, if I did the finger press, I'd definitely have a good centimeter in front, which I like. Um, I have still got my broken toe issues where I can't have anything pushing down on it. So even though I said it was shallower here, this is not pushing down at all. I would put a thin sock on. I wouldn't have a really thick sock with this. I think it would make it too chunky on my foot. But what I have learned is when I get my sneakers for the first time, I would generally wear a thinner sock. And then as the shoe starts to stretch um, and shape, I would normally put a thicker sock on. I do have a few socks that I like to wear for the slip factor. Um, so I think this is re really, really good, really comfy. Could definitely put it on and wear it all day. Would not be an issue. Um, the only place I can feel some pressure is right here. And I think it's more, I didn't undo the front laces properly. I've just left the laces as they come out of the box and quickly done them up. Please, when you get a pair of sneakers, whatever they are, whatever brand they are, loosen all the laces all the way down and then redo them for your foot. I find all the time people are buying their laces, they undo the top lace, they put their foot in and they do them back up, which means this is still set. This is still set the way it came from the factory. What you need to do is undo all of them, loosen them right off and then pull them back in so they fit your foot the right way um, that you're getting the right fit. Because otherwise you're putting extra pressure here that doesn't need to be here or you've got it too loose so your foot's flopping in it. So please, laces all the way down, lace them back up and get your right fit. So this is the Karen, let me show you again. So we've got the platinum, the white and the black, but also the Azua. She's just amazing. Get her on your foot, bigonshoes.com.au.